What's up guys, William here from fitnessforbackpain.com. I got a really awesome core exercise. If you have a bulging disc, if you have a herniated disc, if you have a sensitive back or if you have been fused, you're looking for safe core exercises that you can do either from home or at your commercial gym if you're back there yet. I wanna show you an awesome exercise that I think is safe for all of those types of back injuries or back situations. I call this exercise the weighted core pullovers. Never have seen them done and actually named a specific way. So let's just go with weighted core pullovers. Just made that up as we're standing here. It's a really cool exercise. You don't need much weight. Heavier is gonna be a little bit harder. Lighter won't be as effective. So you wanna find a good way that's gonna challenge yourself. Now, if you're looking to find a way to train safely when it comes to your core, if you have a bulged disc, if you have a herniated disc, multiple herniated discs, or if you've had a fusion, I train the core a very specific way and so should you. I ruptured my disc, my L5-S1 disc, eight plus years ago and I haven't had surgery and I can train better and I'm stronger and pain free. So can you. So I wanna show you exactly the way I put together core training, what I think about core training and specifically how you should be doing if you have a bulge, herniation, rupture, fusion, whatever you may have going on. You can pick up this free guide at fitnessforbackpain.com forward slash core blueprint. There'll be a link in the description box here. You see it come up, you type it into your browser, get that, save it for later. Cause after this video, you're gonna use this exercise and apply what you learn in that guide and you'll be awesome. So the weighted core pullovers, what we're gonna do is grab a kettlebell, dumbbell. I've got a 45 pound kettlebell. This is a good, good weight for me. The key to picking the right weight is making sure it's heavy enough that you can actually feel it engaging and targeting the trunk, but light enough so that your upper body is strong enough to take it above your head. And I'll show you exactly what I mean here in a minute. So before I actually grab my weight, what I'll do is I will get myself set up. A lot of times with core training, when it comes to herniations, disc bulges, fusions, ruptures, you hear these cues of like flattening your back. You wanna tilt your pelvis and flatten that back out and that's neutral. Well, that's not always the case. So what I want you to do is find what is neutral to you and focus on what's called wrap. Ribs down, abs on, and pelvis is in neutral. This may not be back is flat. I know it's not for me. I know it's not for a lot of the clients that I work with. So once you kind of have a good position for this variation, you can do them with the legs down. You can do them with the legs pitched up like this, or you can use them flat like this. I'm just going to show you this variation. If you want to make it more difficult and have your legs up or have your one leg out, by all means do that. So grab your weight and I'm going to grasp the weight like this. I want my, all of my hands being engaged with this exercise. So once I have a good grip on it, I don't crush my face, I'm gonna push up. Before I go, I'm in a good neutral position for me. Nice and comfortable, no pain. I'm gonna breathe out, quick breath. That's gonna engage the trunk, ribs are down, abs are on, pelvis is in neutral. And I'm gonna slowly take this weight over my head. If you watch, I don't bounce it. I keep nice and control. The trick to this exercise is when you're coming over like this, as that weight's coming out, what your body and what naturally wants to happen if you're not paying attention is your ribs will flare and you'll kind of go into overextension trying to be like, oh crap, this is super heavy. So instead of like, you're almost in survival mode. What happens is you overextend that lower back, you put a lot of pressure. If you have a disc bulge, herniation, fusion, rupture, anything like that, that's not gonna be good on that sensitive area. We're trying to build resilience and stability in that neutral position, that comfortable, low sensitivity position. So once we had that locked in, we're taking the weight above our head because again, we're trying to keep it from oh, flaring like this. So we wanna take the weight above our head, but maintain a nice tight trunk. Tap it, come back up. So where it gets difficult and you have to pick the right weight is you, again, you want it to be heavy enough to as you're coming down, you really have to work to keep those ribs locked in but it's also light enough where you can, as you're pulling back up, you're using a lot of your lats and your trunks for stability, but you're using your lats and bringing it 
back up that way. So you have to kind of be able to do both. That is a weighted core pullover. It's an awesome, awesome exercise. If you have never done it before and you have any kind of disc injury, this is a safe exercise. Pick a weight that works for you. Do this multiple times a week. Add it into your program. Learn to master it. Just don't go through the motions. An exercise is not magical. It's the way the exercise is executed that makes the exercise magical, okay? So master it, become a perfectionist at your form, at your technique and how you feel, and simple exercises just like this can really change your life. Again, if you haven't picked up that free gift and you're learning and you're wanting to learn how to train your core with a bulge disc, herniated disc, fusion, disc rupture, any kind of disc injury like that, I give it, I break it all down for you and show you exactly the way I program core training and the way you should uh, program core training. And you can pick that up at fitnessforbackpain.com forward slash core blueprint. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next episode. You like that? Uh-huh.